welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today's video is obviously going to be my Iron Flame reading vlog. Just to preface this, I did do a fourth wing reading vlog and I've actually surprisingly had this book on my shelf for two days and I haven't read it. Anyway, last time after I finished this book, I just like was dreaming about the characters and it was like consuming my entire life. And so I was like, am I ready to get back into that? But I saw my very first TikTok today that was like the beginning of a spoiler. And I scrolled so quick because I was like, no, 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 no. I cannot have this book spoiled for me. I genuinely know absolutely nothing. So I just can't wait to have like a good live reaction to this book. It's so exciting when you get like a, bless you, bless you. <laughs> it's so exciting when you get a book like this and it's thick and it's just, it's amazing. So actually what I did last night was I reread, re, -read, re whoa, reread some of Fourth Wing, like some of the chapters, and then I like looked up like names and like got some references, cause I, I forget so easily. Like I didn't even read Fourth Wing that long ago and I like already forgot, like what is the goal? What are we doing here? Where are we? <laughs> Who are these people? So I just have to get a little refresher and now I'm good to go. So I'm really excited. Anyway, enjoy the Fourth Wing reading vlog. Let's get into it. Brandon is just the coziest human being ever. <laughs> He's Look at him, you guys. He's so cute. I had to put my glasses on because my contacts were really <laughs> bugging me, but I'm only on page three and I'm like, where is Zayden? Like literally, <laughs> where is he and what is he doing? My current goal tonight is to get to page 72, chapter nine. So that's where we're at. Violet just went and saw her dragons again for the first time and, and Darn, I always, I always say the little one's name wrong. How do I say her name? And Darna. And Darna is now like fully, almost fully grown basically. And she's no longer golden. She like has black scales and stuff, which I wasn't expecting. But I am interested to know like what the meaning is behind having more like black dragons being like hatched and stuff like that because they said that they're rare, but like now there's a couple more. So I'm interested in that. Okay, they just had, Zayden and Violet just had like their first little talk because they're getting back to like the school and stuff. So they're having one more talk before they go in to see like what's gonna happen to them. I am very interested. Obviously I know they're not gonna be executed or anything, but I am wondering like what kind of punishment or questioning is about to go on. But anyway, their conversation right now, like Zayden was like trying to talk into her mind cause like they can talk through the bond. And she was like, no, 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 like that's too intimate. And he's like, and we're not intimate. Like, I, I don't know, I just love the way this whole conversation is going, but I am excited because they're talking about what they're gonna do with Dane, because obviously if Dane like touches her, he's gonna see her memories. And Dayton is like, I'll make sure that he keeps his hand to himself, but he might have to play along. So I'm like, okay, they're gonna be doing the whole like fake dating thing, I think. Like they're, maybe they'll be doing the fake dating thing, but like, I'm so over Dane. Like I actually wasn't a major Dane hater in the last book like everyone else was like I was but I wasn't that upset like I was kind of thinking like you know maybe we don't know his perspective maybe he'll be better no him looking Violet in the face right now and saying you're such a disappointment Violet I can't stand him and I'm only 37 pages in so this is gonna be a long book oh my god just like I expected Dane just like literally reached for Violet and she said you touch me and I will literally cut your hands off I'm screaming. And then Dane said, you don't mean that. And he said, Zayden, this is Zayden now. He said, you should take her out of word. In fact, if you don't, I'll take personal offense. She made her choice and it wasn't you. It will never be you. I know it, she knows it. And the whole quadra knows it. Here we go. He's gonna play into this trope. Like we're together now. She chose me and not you, even though they're like not together, but then like they eventually will be. <laughs> Violet's inner monologue. She said, oh, just kill me now. I've just met Varish or whatever his name is. And he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like the leader or whatever for Violet. I'm already hating him. Like I'm already not okay with this guy. I'm ending tonight on Zayden leaving. And I just realized they can only see each other every seven days, which is not good. It's not enough time for me, but their goodbye was like so awkward because it was like, they're faking, but they're not faking. Being sad, he's talking into her mind. I don't know, it's just like a big, mix of emotions so that's what's just happened i'm on chapter eight and the new first years are about to cross the parapet i think that's what it's called and i'm so like sad because i just like now knowing having read the first book how many people 
like died walking across the first one it makes me so sad and also violet's like so nervous and doesn't want to watch so that's what we're about to watch now i do know because i saw on tiktok i think or like in a preview when i ordered this book that sloan who is liam's sister is going to be coming in so i'm really excited because i feel like she's going to be introed here crossing so i'm just really excited to see that i'm just excited for violet and sloan to interact sloan just walked up and violet gave her a rubber band dane is like violet no i'm like dane just get out of the way like shoo away but she's giving her a little hair band to tear her hair up and she's like i promised liam i would help her out <laughs> cries literally cries inside as i'm thinking this is a cute moment um sloan literally just told her to go straight to hell she's like my brother died for you not me thinking they're gonna be like besties immediately <laughs> go straight to hell and i really mean that i hope no one commends your soul to malik i hope he rejects it oh this is brutal all right we've got him in this violet this cannot this cannot happen okay i knew that varish the new like commander or whatever was gonna be a problem but now i'm getting that there's like some history with violet's dragon and his dragon they have beef which is actually like so crazy to think about like these dragons are like beefing varish's dragon just like lit everyone on fire and torched them for absolutely no reason. So Violet's dragon just came to like literally scare him off. Thank God. Okay, Sloan is like a lot crazier than I thought she was going to be. They're having their first assessment day where they have to like battle it out or whatever. And Sloan was supposed to go against like a first year and she chose Violet. And she's like, it's fine. I can take her. And I'm just like, I don't understand why she's doing the most. I mean, I do understand, but I'm like, this is so extra. Okay what the hell because this first year what is his name oh it doesn't even say what his name is but all i know is he just walked up to nadine and like literally snapped her neck and she's dead so wait violet literally just threw two knives at him she's like wait is she gonna kill him is she gonna kill him is she allowed to do that wait what i'm so confused Okay, so the guy who's trying to kill him just said secrets die with people who keep him, which is the same thing that Dane said, so like, I'm so confused. She just stabbed him to death. I truly can't believe she just killed that first year, but now Zayden's here. <laughs> Satan just showed up in her dorm. I just like literally love their little moments, and I can already tell their moments are going to be like this big for a while like barely even here and i'm gonna be like grasping you know zayden just said to violet let's get you clean and wrapped up and she said you can't go around killing cadets you're an officer now he said watch me he's pissed i literally love him <laughs> not violet being like oh my furniture seems like sturdier this year and then he's like oh we should test that out like okay i actually i actually can't i love that she has no willpower like I love like she does but like in her head she doesn't Zayden warding her room but like only for people who are touching her to like get in I can't but his room is only for him and Violet like I can't I can't no see this is so stressful because these little like things that are before each chapter like okay this has to be the note that Zayden just wrote to Violet and it says Garrick is always my best friend blah blah blah, blah. but the recovered the recovered correspondence is what's really sending me. Like, obviously, I know there's, like, this theory that, like, they've all, like, died or something, like, later on. But, like, I... I can't handle this recovered. Recovered from what? Recovered from war? Oh, and I literally hate Varish. Like, I I literally hate him. He just was like, oh, by the way, I know you have two dragons, and the second one's not here, so where is she? Like, goodbye. Oh, God. We've just found out. But he just slipped up and, like, told Violet some name of some girl that Zayden must have been with at some point. Like, not this, not this, I don't wanna know. Violet just got to Samara, wherever it is, that Zayden is outpost at, so it's her first time visiting him, and like, I just love this. Like, I don't know why, it's just giving like, you know, like visiting your boyfriend in college, even though it's like literally not the same. I mean, it is the same, but it's like, okay, we're literally at war, it's completely different, but like, it's giving that vibe. Like. Mm, just like doing a little long distance gonna fly my dragon 12 hours to go visit my man <laughs> it's literally not the same but it is the same but anyway he's fighting she just found him like in this fighting pit and i'm like so dead because she's just watching him like absolutely like so obsessed she's like wow he's so beautiful i'm like girl you are not lasting another minute <laughs> with this whole like we're not dating i can't be near him like how are you gonna last you can't even watch him like fight for two seconds <laughs> just as i said that literally just as i said that i'm like she's not gonna last her thoughts are so funny 
they just literally had like the hottest makeout ever and she's like she like like i love the progression of her thoughts she's like no he can't kiss me like i can't let that happen and then she's like i mean but like really what is a kiss you know <laughs> and then they start making out and she's like i absolutely like i cannot take my jacket off and then she's like i mean the jacket can come off like <laughs> it's like in a span of like three seconds she's like actually i think it's fine <laughs> Girl, I have so much pimple cream on. I need these pimples to go away. But anyway, I'm on page 154. I was going through this book so slowly, like the first half. I don't know why. It was just like taking me so long to get through. I read 10 pages on the first day. Like that, I never do that. I just like wasn't, and I wasn't in the right headspace, but I'm on page 154 now and I'm like, so invested again and like now i'm like okay i have to keep reading and like i've been thinking about it a lot so i'm like so happy i'm at that place now because for some reason i just like wasn't feeling in the beginning but anyway they just failed their like navigation thing so they got kidnapped put the little like bags over their heads went out into the middle of nowhere and like they literally didn't escape i'm so concerned though like my main thing that i'm like so stressed about is that they gave them that elixir that basically like cuts off their connection with all of the dragons that really stresses me out because that is for sure gonna play like a huge part in something later on and i'm like this is just not good also the greatest thing ever that just happened violet finally like talked to jacinia and was basically like this is what i need from you these are the books that i need and so now they're kind of like working together a bit even though violet's not being like completely honest which I'm really happy that she's opening up. I also really like that she's doing her own thing, even though like Zayden and all of them like told her not to get involved or anything like that. I like that she's still looking stuff up because this is gonna be like so important to like realize like the history of everything. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. I'm gonna get back to reading. Um, she did miss a week with Zayden, which I'm like not happy about because I'm like, this is a week less that I get to have their interactions. I'm pissed, but it's fine. I'm gonna keep reading and we'll get another one. Oh my god Taryn just made I always say his name wrong Violet's dragon just made Varish's dragon or Varish actually apologize to Violet he's literally making him apologize on his knees because he keeps trying to summon Andarna and like obviously she's not coming and he's like we just don't ant like us dragons don't answer to you the way Tarn is like so insane I love that Tarn, like, I love that Violet's dragon is standing up for her, though. Like, I love that he, like, always has her back. It just makes me so happy. Not them making out for, for show. Please. Please. Oh, my God. Just when I think Violet is normal. Like, this is the problem. This is literally the problem. Zayden is like, don't say anything. Don't mention anything. And, like, she's like, I'm not. Like, I'm just gonna, like, mind my business. Here she is with her sister Mira, and she's asking 47 million questions and like they're not subtle she's like so do you know how the word stone works like how does your power reach how do you make a new ward how do you do i'm like her sister's like hello what has gotten into you and i'm just like violet shut your mouth like i know she's trying to get the tea but i'm like you're not supposed to be saying anything this is gonna make zayden not trust you he can't trust you to not say anything to other people when you're not supposed to so it's like you both are gonna lose trust in each other because she can't shut her mouth. What are they called? Wyvern? Wyvern? Weaburn? It sounds worse the more I say it. Okay, so she just thinks she's mentally unstable, which is good because Violet's really just outing the whole situation. Okay, at least Violet's not totally Delulu. She's laying in bed with Zayden now and she's talking to him and she just said, I almost told her today, for all my anger, you're right not to trust me because I almost told her. Exactly. That's, that's exactly what I was saying. She's so upset with him, but it's like, you also can't really control yourself. Zayden literally just looked at Violet and he said, do you want to give me those three little words? And she said no and then he said you love me and she said stop reminding me i thought we agreed not to fight tonight he said maybe you're not the one i'm reminding <laughs> violet say it oh okay i forgot that dane even existed but he just challenged violet to like a a match he just challenged her they're about to fight or like duel or whatever and her arm's literally in a sling i literally forgot that he was in this book because he hasn't been in like the past six chapters and now that he's back i'm pissed but i'm so confused like what is the purpose of this because like for some reason i was like you know maybe he's gonna like really try for her really try and be her friend this does not seem like that 
he's just digging his hole deeper. And like, he's being so rude. He said, keep the daggers if that makes you feel better, Cadet Soren Gill. And I'm like, he is such a pick me. I guess Dane's whole point of like even challenging her is because he wanted to talk to her because obviously she won't talk to him. So he's saying he didn't know that they were setting him up or setting her up to like go and be attacked essentially, which I, I kind of believe him. Like I do actually believe that he maybe didn't know it was wrong of him to steal her memory, but I don't think he knows like all the ins and outs maybe of like what's going on. So I do actually believe him about that, but he just said that Violet's mom is the one who gave Zayden all his scars. The fact that Zayden like hasn't mentioned that though, we're like hasn't said that, like I'm so confused. Okay, so now so now I call her Rihanna. I know that's not her name, but now Rihanna <laughs> has pulled Violet to talk to her. Let's see what she says. Oh my god, she's putting everything together. Violet just told her that Dane can like take memories, so she's just finding out that little fact. And then now she's like, What were you actually fighting out there? Like they're killing off people who know what actually happened. I'm not okay. This is too much for me to process this whole chapter. Okay, so Eric knows what's going on, so he knows everything. She just like was taking him to the infirmary and he knows everything. The math is mathing. Okay, Violet telling Zayden that she's not his. Like, watch your mouth. Okay, they're going into interrogation, which I'm excited about, but I'm not excited. But I'm laughing because they all have to share a secret, and like Riddock's secret is that he's scared of snakes. Like, please, like, be so for real. He is such a funny character in this book, and if he dies, I'm gonna be so sad. Thank God, Dane actually decided not to touch her. Okay, I think we're getting a Dane redemption arc. Maybe not. Could be totally wrong, but like with what he was saying when they were fighting and then now he like told Varish like no I'm not gonna participate in this. I think we're getting a little bit of a redemption arc. Jack Barlow is alive This whole time Nolan was healing him. No, literally. What is the purpose of this? This has got to have like more meaning like I'm so I'm so confused Satan's base was attacked, so now Violet just ran out of class, literally didn't give zero, and she's on her way to go see him. I really hope this is the moment where she's like, I love you, like, please. Because the thing is, he just keeps getting injured, and it's just too much drama. There's just, like, so much drama now happening back to back to back. I feel like once I got to page 200, it's, like, non-stop craziness. My heating pad right here is so funny. Um, but yeah, I really feel like she needs to say I love you now because it's getting old and if he gets injured or he dies and she didn't tell him, it's gonna be really unfortunate. Zayden picking a fight with Violet over her wearing Bodhi's jacket is <laughs> so me. I really feel like when I'm reading this book, like I'm Zayden. Like I'm, I relate more to him. Okay, she didn't say I love you, but they did just you know, for the first time. Well, not the first time, but the first time in this book. So I'm really happy about that because that means we're making progress. Now he's gonna take her to the rendezvous point where they're gonna like drop the daggers off. So now he's kind of like letting her in, giving her more trust, which is really good. Okay, I have to leave and I have to stop reading and I'm so bad about this, but I'll like, if I have to stop reading, I'll skip ahead a couple chapters and like start to read sentences. Like, I don't know why I will like try and like spoil it for myself, but I stopped myself. So I have no idea what's going on. I just want to be super surprised because this actually hasn't been spoiled for me. So I just stopped myself. I'm 42% done. Um, I'll be back later to read. It's the way I left, went to a brand event, came home, washed my face, and then immediately got back into bed to read this book. I love this feeling. I, like, love the feeling of, like, wanting to get home so badly so that you can read your book. Like, I'm so excited about this. I haven't stayed up and, like, read a book in so long, but I'm so excited. The tea is getting hot because they just... Okay, so Zayden and Violet just, like, went to go do the drop off for like all the weapons and stuff and they're meeting Zayden's ex-girlfriend. I can already tell because she said her name is Kat and I think the name of the ex-girlfriend was like Katarina or something like that. So I'm like, this has to be his ex-girlfriend. And I really don't love this trope. Like I really don't. Like I, I, there's no need. I think because I'm like such a jealous person. Like I'm like, no, I don't need that. Like I don't need this jealousy trope in here with the ex. She can go unless she's gonna do something productive. But the way that Violet's describing her, it's like she's like all in love with him and she's like giving him like longing looks like, no, this is not what we need. The way Kat is really about to get fought, she just looked at Violet and then looked back at Zayden and goes, she's striking, I'll give you that. What do you mean I'll give you that? She will literally 
she will literally torch you in two seconds with her lightning so don't try her today miss cat Wait, what is she talking about there's so many sirens going on outside my apartment cat literally just looked at zayden and said you're willing to let our entire kingdom fall prey to these monsters because you're what smitten please i know you're i know you better than that no like i'm not kidding like if violet doesn't set her on fire right now violet said what the hell is she talking about oh my god she just asked zayden to avoid jumping to conclusions like last year she's your ex isn't she straight to the point we were over before i met you even the thought of him with someone else i'm sick violet said it shouldn't matter i have exes too it's not like we've really discussed our sexual romantic history of course neither of them is a griffin flyer who looks like that but still taryn said to which i will remind you that not a single dragon chose her you were selected by two pull yourself together <laughs> I love Taryn. I like, I literally love him. Oh, she said, but at one point Zayden chose her and he said, at one point you thought gruel was a satisfactory meal until you grew some teeth, found the rest of the world's food waiting. Now seize this line of thinking. It does not serve to make you stronger. <laughs> I love him. This commentary. He said, I am continuously with you, forced to bear witness to the awkwardness that is 21 year old humans. And Violet said, I'll strive to make it less awkward. And he said, could you do so? I would think you would have done it already. <laughs> I forget, he's like super like old dragon and he's just like living in this 21 year old's mind. Well, he's not living in her mind, but you know what I mean? Like he's just like dealing with all the stuff she has to deal with. Oh my God. She just told, she just told Re. Yeah, the staggers were killing Venom. Is she mentally well? What are you doing? I mean, I know eventually it's it's gonna probably work out in their favor. All right, they're all working together. She didn't tell them everything. Like she didn't tell them about Brennan and stuff, which I really appreciate because that was like really stressing me out. But I do like that they're all working together. I know that they eventually were like gonna have to do that because there's no way she was gonna be able to keep lying for so long. But I just was like so shocked that she just straight up just said everything. But now I'm getting really sleepy. So now it's time for me to go to sleep and I'll read in the morning. I'm back home. They just went through all of this trouble to get those books out of the archives. And then Nolan just poisoned her. So I'm like literally pissed. I knew it the second he handed her that mug. I was like, it's over for her. Like she's done. I don't know how she's going to get out of this situation. But we'll see. Hopefully Zayden is going to come to the rescue somehow. Farish is literally torturing her. Oh, he's setting a trap for Zayden. This is exactly why Zayden can't come and like rescue her. Oh my god, Dane is here. Dane is here. Dane is here. Oh my god, Dane's literally about to do it. Like I feel like he's really gonna do it. Ryerson deserted days ago. What does that mean? He deserted? He could be safe. Wait, he left? They're gathering the Mark ones now. Oh my god, I didn't think this was all gonna happen. Now I'm only on page 300. <laughs> There's so much worse things that are gonna happen. Oh my god, she's going to show him what happened to Liam so that, like, Dane is going to understand now. He says, wait, he's holding the knife to Violet's throat. I don't think he's going to kill Violet. I feel like he needs to, like, turn and kill Varish or something. Or, like, help her. Yes! Oh my god, I'm going to cry. Yes! Oh my god. Thank god. Oh my god. Yes, he stabbed Varish. I was, I was literally, I could literally cry right now. I could get real tears, like... Thank you, Dane. I knew the redemption arc was coming. I told you guys. I literally... <gasps> oh my god. Zayden's here. Zayden's here. Oh. And you know what this means? This means Dane's part of the rebellion now. Because, like, he's gonna have no other option. He just killed Varish. Like, he can't... He can't stay there. Oh my god. Zayden just got here. Let's... Let's keep it going. Oh. Violet literally going, you came, like, to Zayden, like, he said there's nowhere in existence you could go that I wouldn't find you. <laughs> yes, Dane just said, if my father already knows what Violet showed me, then I'm the one disappointed him. Exactly, he's, he's, he's team rebellion. Oh my god, Violet's gonna kill Varys. She stabbed him in the heart? No, because I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Violet's conversation with Zayden right now. She said, you'll lose everything you've worked for because of me. And he said, then I'll have everything that I need. He said, I'm sorry if you expect me to do the noble thing. I warned you, I'm not sweet or soft or kind. This is what you get, Violet. The good, the bad, the unforgivable, all it is. I'm yours. You want to know something true? I love you. Ah! I'm literally in tears. Not me literally crying. Wait, you guys, I'm so unwell. Someone help me.
Violet's mom is here. This is just too much for me right now. She's looking at Zayden and she said, you of all people know the links I'll go in order to protect her. And since I'm pretty sure you're the reason we're getting reports of dragons dropping Wyvern. This is crazy. She loves her boy. I can't wait to get back and get a fill in tonight. <laughs> get a recap. Yep. <laughs> Violet's mom made a deal with Zayden. That's why he was taking care of her the whole time. Like, I know we just had this beautiful moment. I don't know if Violet's going to feel the way I feel, but I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm like sussed out by that. Like, okay, so that was the only reason you were being nice to me or like taking care of me. I don't know. Like, I knew he like ended up falling in love with her or whatever, but still, it's like finding that out now is so whack. I always say Mira. I don't know if it's Myra or Mira for Violet's sister. But she just saw Brennan for the first time and punched him in the face. I was not expecting that. <laughs> That's like an even better outcome than what I was hoping for. <laughs> I absolutely love that Violet just decided to like sneak out and go and try and like wield her lightning so that they could get the luminary. And Zayden was already there. Like love that, loving that, loving that, loving that. I'm back. I'm 70% through the book. I actually listened to a lot of it this morning. Well, I listened to four chapters this morning on Audible. I've already said this, but for some reason, this book is feeling like it's taking me so long to get through. I feel like it's because like the second I opened up this book, the words are so small. Like I feel like there's just so many words <laughs> just as i was wondering like why is it taking me so long to read this i did see a tiktok of the girl explaining that the word count in this book is so much higher and she compared it to crescent city for example which crescent city is a pretty large book and it's got like over like 200,000 words or something like that and this one's got 250,000 words in it so it makes sense why this is just taking me a lot longer i also do feel like i mean i'll talk more about this at the end of the book when i give my rating and everything but i feel like there's some unnecessary comments in this book or events or chapters maybe like stuff that happens and I just feel like I read it and then I'm like I feel like we didn't need all of this you know so anyway let me update you on my thoughts with where we're at right now because it's honestly crazy cat is so irritating I hope I hope to god Violet's dragon eats her like I'm not kidding <laughs> like I don't even want her here like just for the plot or like just to add a little bit more spice like I don't need more like drama with Zayden and Violet I need her to go I'm so over her so like I hope she gets eaten I know she's probably not going to I feel like she's gonna probably have some redemption arc or she's gonna stay longer in the rest of the books which is fine but right now she's irritating me I hope one day I can like her but I do not like her right now and I hope she gets like literally gobbled up by a wyvern I will never know how to say wyvern wyvern I don't know Violet and Zayden got into an argument and she basically was like you know you're acting like you're acting like Dane I thought that was such a low blow like I was like babes he's nothing like Dane L let's not speak out of anger here okay like don't talk to my man it's like that. <laughs> it's like Violet simmer down okay he just cares about you the comment that Kat made about Violet needing to change from colors like she literally was like oh yeah like Zayden really likes colors and he always like hates like people who wear all black she pisses me off and what was even better was that like literally the second Zayden saw Violet he was like yes this is my girl I'm obsessed with her like she's so beautiful is like leaving out with her I'm like Kat take a seat literally sit down also I don't know if this is gonna be accurate but I don't know if there was like a little bit of foreshadowing with Mira and Drake. Drake is Kat's older brother, I think. I think that's the relation, but it's like their brother or whatever. I feel like there could be like a little, I don't know, a little something there because Mira made a comment about like, yeah, I would never be with a Griffin fighter. And I feel like sometimes, I, or most of the times in books when characters make comments like I could never whatever it always ends up happening so I felt like that was like a little foreshadowing we'll see in the further books but I feel like Drake could definitely come into play because they wouldn't have brought up her brother or anything like that at all if he wasn't going to be like someone in the series or like really helping them out so I feel like Mira and him could like be a match right now they're training with the Gryphons, which i really like again i don't know how to say any of these things like i keep messing it up i literally listen to the audiobook and i still don't know how to say this stuff but i really like that they're like all working together now i was kind of wondering about that like i knew eventually maybe they would but i really do like that they're like combining the colleges and stuff like that i think it's such a cool concept i'm also really loving that sloan and violet are starting to harness a relationship like sloan basically just was telling violet like i don't know how like i want to 
hate you, but I can't hate you because you're someone that my brother loved. And I feel like that's like so special. And I'm so glad that she's coming around to that. Like I knew she would, but I really like, I don't know. I think their relationship is going to be so special, which I really like. And Sloan is like defending Violet and like to Kat so much. Like she literally wants to like end Kat's life. And I'm like, yes, like you are ride or die. Like she can't stand her. I know she can't stand her. A lot of the reasons is because of Liam, but I just love that. I also really like Marin. I've just been introduced to Marin, who is Kat's best friend. And I really, really like her. Like I like that she has like a level head. Like I feel like she can think for herself. She can speak for herself. And like her kind of having a relationship with Violet or like being nice to her even is like so nice. I also found it really funny that she called Kat unhinged. Like she basically was describing Kat and Zayden's relationship and was saying that it was toxic and that Kat is unhinged, which I'm like, this is just such funny terms to describe it because it seems so like modern, like, you know, like modern, I guess, like in a book that I'm reading that's fantasy. It's so funny to hear someone describe their relationship as toxic and, and a girl is unhinged. Like, Taryn and, and Darna right now are, like, literally trying to eat cat. And Violet's like, please, can we just, like, stop? And I'm like, Violet, just let them. Oh, my God. Sawyer asking for help to learn how to sign so he can ask Jacinia out. I'll literally cry. I'll literally cry. Cat is the biggest pick me of life. Like she literally just challenged Violet to the mat. Like of course you're gonna choose Violet. Like have some dignity fighting over a man. This conversation <laughs> and Darna and Tarn are having this conversation and Darna's talking to Violet and she said, scratch your eyes out really. The eyes are the softest tissue. Just jab your thumbs in there. <laughs> Tarn says, and Darna, use some common sense. The kneecaps are a much easier target. I love the dragons, like I love their commentary. Not that he trained both of us. If I was fighting some girl and I knew my man trained her too, like, I'm sick, I'm literally sick. I swear to God, she said, does it bother you knowing he taught me first that I had him first? Oh my God, Cat deserves murder. She said, really, the thought that I know what he tastes like, what, how he feels above me? I literally have tears in my eyes because I'm like, oh my God, I would literally, I would literally end, I would end this girl. I think it does bother you seeing me here where I belong, sleeping right down the hall. I bet it keeps you awake at night knowing I'm a better match for him in every way. Counting the seconds he tires of your frail excuse for a body and comes back to the woman he knows exactly what he likes and how he likes it. Like literally there's a lump in my throat. I'm sick. I can't believe she's really saying this. I'm the one that taught him the trick with this Murder her, murder her, murder her, stab her, like stab her, kill her, dead, like dead, immediate death. They were engaged. Oh my God, Zayden's voice through her brain. He said, I honestly don't care if you kill her violence, but you will. He said, I respect whatever choice you make. He said, I thought you were gonna kill her. And Violet said, would that have been unforgivable to you? And he said, nothing you could ever do would be unforgivable to me. And then she also said, how could you ever love someone like her? And he said, you're the first and only woman I've ever loved. <laughs> but I will say, I'm super annoyed that there hasn't been a conversation about Kat like before this. Like, I just feel like he, he does hold so much. Like he doesn't say anything to her. It's like, I don't know, it's one of those situations where it's like in real life, as a girl, you would hate to be around someone that like your person has like been with or whatever or like talked to and not know. Like it's it's just like almost embarrassing. So I'm like, I kind of feel like that's embarrassing to her for him to not have told her like all the details, like the engagement. We're on the last like 80 pages and I always know whenever there's about to be like a huge war, a huge battle, and we've only got like 80 pages left, like it's about to be my nightmare. First of all, let me catch you up. I completely forgot that Solus even existed. So like right when he came back and started attacking them, like, no, that was so stressful. That was so stressful. Side note, they're trying to give Kat like some like redemption or whatever. Like she's like making friends with Violet or whatever. And then when Solus came and attacked them, she stayed and like helped her. And then when she was in the infirmary or whatever, 
infantry infirmary violet when she was like getting help after the attack she's like cat saved my life blah 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 i'm like ew no i literally don't care like i don't like her she did not stay and save you because she likes you she was saving you because you're tied to zayden like honestly like i'm like i just don't care like i'm like she's not a good person like i don't care about her she can get eaten for all i care i'm over her where i'm at right now is pissing me off more than anything ever. Zayden and Violet are finally having like this huge argument right now. I'm on page 522. They're having this huge argument about not being honest with each other, not trusting each other, the lies. And what's really making me like the most upset over anything is the two signets. Like the two, the fact that Zayden has had two signets the whole time and never told her. Like at first I was kind of thinking like, okay, yes, he's keeping things from Violet, but like they're not, I don't know. I didn't feel like anything was like great. I don't know. Like I, I wasn't so upset about it. But like now I'm really freaking annoyed that he's never said anything. Also, I'm just kind of annoyed like his signet being that he's intrinsic is like, I don't think it's that bad. Like I'm more annoyed at the fact that he never said anything, but I don't think it's like a betrayal to Violet. Like I understand that like he can read people's intentions, but I just like, I don't know. I don't think that's as bad as it could have been. Her first suggestion when she was talking to Zayden, she was like, can you manipulate my emotions? Did you make me fall in love with you? Like that would be so horrible. I don't think him being intrinsic is like so crazy bad. I don't know. I'm just more annoyed at the fact that he never said anything and also the fact that Sigel hid it from Tarn. Like I'm I'm so confused as to like how is that even possible? That's like actually what's so bad. I'm getting riled up because I'm almost to the end of this book and it's painful. It's painful, honestly. This part though, this part really broke me. The part where he said, like, how quickly are you gonna fall out of love with me? And then Violet found out and she starts talking to him. And then he said, less than a minute. That's how long it took you to fall out of love with me. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh my God, Brennan's here. Brennan is seeing his mom. Oh my God, she's gonna freak out when she realizes he's alive. He said, when all three of your children stand against you, perhaps the time has come for self-reflection. <laughs> Okay, so they denied the assemblies, like, ask for help to basically help them fight, which I do find, like, a little bit hypocritical. Like, I know that they're in the wrong, but I'm also, like, you guys are supposed to be, like, fighting for everybody, but you're not going to fight for them because they didn't fight for you. Like, that just doesn't make sense. So that obviously needs to change. They do need to go to their aid, but now they're working on the wards. I do really like that they're not, like, drawing out this fight in like a really like negative like miscommunication way like they are very communicative and right now violet and zayden are like in the gym like sparring and it's kind of like flirting fighting almost which i actually really like i don't like when fights are just dragged out from miscommunication i have so much work to do but i have to finish this book so i've got 30 minutes right now before i have to go to coffee um let's see what's happening because i went to sleep and it was the craziest thing ever jack is venom I was not expecting that. It makes sense why he's evil. Why are they keeping him alive? Like, just kill him. I don't care to know any answers. They're fully in battle now. Sawyer just lost his leg. Sawyer's leg is eaten off. Um, Violet's just put like two and two together. She's basically figured out like that there's seven dragons that they need or whatever to make the wards again. But she hasn't said what it is. She's like holding it in. And I'm like, oh my God, what is it? I'm so stressed. Also, she's wanted by like whoever the master of all these venom is. I don't know what it's called. The sage, the sage of all these venom is like she's wanted by them. So I'm so interested to know why. This correspondence is going to make me literally die. It's Liam talking to Sloane. He said, you're going to love Violet. She's smart and stubborn. Reminds me a lot of you actually. You just have to remember when you meet her. She's not her mother. <laughs> Okay, and Darna is the seventh breed. There was always something weird about her, and it's making sense. So, Violet just asked her if she'll, like, help bring the wards up. We're gonna see. I've got 20 pages left. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Violet's mom is making Sloan, like, put her hand on the ward and, like, do all this crazy stuff. Zayden is literally, like, dying. If Zayden dies, I'm... No, I can't. I have to keep reading. I, that can't happen. Wait, her, okay, her mom's dead. And Darna just said Zayden needs you? No, no, no. I'm going to end it all. I want to throw this book. I'm thinking like, you know, like what, what can be so bad? Like they just said, you know, Zayden's alive. Like that's good. So I'm thinking like, oh, he's alive, but he's like really injured. He's alive and he's venom. I'm gonna literally, like, I don't even want to read. I have two more pages. 
I don't even want to read them. You actually have to like be kidding. Like you actually have to be kidding. I'm reading the last three pages. Here we go. I'm literally so upset. Oh, we're finally getting Zayden's perspective. I'm so pissed that we didn't have more of Zayden's perspective in the whole book. Like I thought that I would at least get like some of it. Once again, we're not getting into the last chapter. It's fine. Let's read this horror story that's happening. What did I just read? I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. All right, it's time to recap since I'm officially done. I've just kind of sat here for like the past 15 minutes, like stewing in my thoughts to like try and process everything. But I'm going to give you guys my first reaction right now. This is without me seeing like any TikTok conspiracy theories because I have scrolled past everything on my free page because I just didn't want anything to be like spoiled or anything. So some of these things I'm confused on, like maybe they'll be explained over time or you guys can comment below. First off, I want to say... I think after reading the second book, I would like to change my rating on the first book. So I gave, actually, that's a lie. That's actually a lie. I think I'm gonna stick with the same rating for both books. So I'm gonna give Iron Flame four stars right now. Let me go through some of my thought process. I really loved this book. I thought it had so much action and it did really keep me intrigued. I did find some of it hard to get through because I do feel like there was some I felt like there were a couple things that were pointless almost like some people might disagree but again this is just my opinion I just felt like there were some things that there were some chapters and stuff that I felt like I could do without I also for some reason am lacking like a super strong emotional connection to some of the characters in this like some of the main group of people I feel like I'm not as emotionally attached to them if you guys watched my fourth ring reading vlog I wasn't super emotional or crazy upset about Liam's death like I do find it sad and I love the way that she ties in Sloan in this book like I, I do love that but like I wasn't like crying and freaking out a lot of people when they watch my fourth being when they were like oh my god you didn't include a reaction for Liam and I'm like I guess I didn't but I think it's because there wasn't a crazy reaction like I wasn't like oh my god I can't believe it like I was just like oh my god like that's so sad I don't know like I just don't have a crazy strong emotional connection um to some of the people I feel like I should. I also just feel like with this book specifically, there was a lot of world building in this book and a lot of things that I don't feel like were explained very well. For example, I feel like I don't have a really great concept of the runes. I don't feel like I have a really great concept of where power comes from. Like I just don't feel like it is explained well enough for me. And I have read a lot of fantasy books. Like I'm not just talking about SGM. Like I've always read fantasy books. And so like I feel like I do have a pretty good grasp on things like I can pick up on things pretty quickly but with these I feel like I'm kind of lacking that in a way which I don't know if it, that's just the way it's written that's how she writes I just feel like I'm missing something or maybe I just don't fully grasp it like it's not under explained in a way that I can understand it super well so there's some of that that's kind of some of the reasonings why I would give it four stars but I absolutely love the plot of this like I will continue to read the whole rest of the book because I love these characters I love the main characters like I love Violet I love Zayden I love Brennan, I love Mira, um, I love Re. I like her group of people, and I love the concept of it like being out of college. I'm excited to see where the third book goes because now I feel like there's like not that there wasn't a huge crazy plot, but I was kind of wondering where this is when I, where this was gonna go if like they had this big battle with them and then they won. So I'm really excited for the third book. I don't know when that comes out, but I will be buying it immediately. Overall, I think it was a really good fantasy read. I'm really enjoying this series. I'm glad that I started it. I'm glad that I read it, but I will say four stars for sure because I felt like this book definitely took me so much longer than I've ever spent on a book ever. I can typically gauge my like excitement and obsessedness I guess with a book by like how quickly I'm reading it like with fourth wing I literally think I read it in like one and a half days like I read it so quickly because I could not like put it down with this one I was kind of struggling to like pick it back up and be like okay like I felt like there was just so there's just too much going on almost it became a little bit overwhelming i'm also kind of sad that we didn't get zayden's point of view i really wish we would have had more of that in this book especially with all of the stuff he was keeping to himself and stuff like i know that we're not supposed to know those things that's why we don't have zayden's point of view it's because they're supposed to be like hidden secrets and stuff but i think when it comes to the relationship between him and violet it would be really helpful if we got some of his point of view 
other than that, this has been a really long reading vlog. I hope that you guys liked it. My next book that I'm reading, I'm not doing a reading vlog for, um, it's this one. I'm reading A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. I've never read a book by her, but I saw it on my TikTok, so I'm going to read it. I'm really excited about that. I just need to like switch out of fantasy for a minute, so this is what I'm reading next. Thank you guys for watching my reading content. Thank you guys for watching this video. The sirens in the background are really adding like a beautiful ambiance to this outro. I think my next reading vlog is going to be the Cruel Prince series, so I uploaded the first reading vlog for that one. I read The Cruel Prince, and I'm going to read the second one, which is The Wicked King. I'm very excited about that. I'm excited to pick it back up. I'm just taking little mini breaks, so that'll probably be my next reading vlog. If you guys have any other series that you think would be really good for me to read, that you would want a reading vlog for comment them down below and i'll definitely do that thank you guys again so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye